What is up everyone? We are back with some more Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis and boy do we have a lot to go over. Uh, I am freaking exhausted. I have spent the last like 12 hours arranging music for an upcoming musical and God, I'm just exhausted. Um, but I do want to look through some of this stuff. I was taking small little breaks here and there to kind of do some of the basic stuff of the event just so I didn't lose out on some time. So some of the stuff you're going to see kind of already completed as I talk about it, but we'll get into that. So here we go. Uh, so first off, I think we talked about this in the last thing that they're going to be doing an exchange with the premium draw tickets and the Monster Hunter crossover exclusive premium draw tickets. Um, when I first read this, I think earlier, yeah, because this, this happened much earlier, um, I thought that was a really cool idea, and as I sit back and look at it now, why not just make the draw tickets work for either? I mean, why have two specific ones? Um, that just makes kind of zero sense for me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we are obviously, we got uh, some... Uh, 77 st stamina tonics from watching the live stream. Uh, so now into the really new things. Here we go. So we have the Wrath of uh, Rathalos in the Midgar Skies. This is going to run from May 30th through July 2nd. Get exchangeable items. Clear the event exclusive quest in which Rathalos appears as a boss. Uh, we get the Shinner Wyvern Blade. Has Defira Surge. Uh which gives 250% non-elemental magic damage to all enemies, and all enemies' fire resistance is slightly reduced. Uh, this does have a boost magic uh, attack. We'll check that out here in just a moment. The main boss is going to be Rathalos, weak to lightning. He has a force gauge stability that can be destroyed by magic abilities. Destroying the force gauge inflicts P def down and M def down, plus additional rewards at the end of battle. So it's kind of neat. You just, if you get rid of the force gauge. Um, you get extra rewards. Physical attacks are effective, but a balanced party is important to destroy the force gauge. Lightning abilities are extremely effective, so make sure to include them in your party. In addition, M def boost, magic attack down, and fire resistance are recommended to endure many powerful fire magic attacks. The new gear from Cloud and uh, Zack are going to give us bonuses to the co-op, so if you've got them, use them guys in the co-op. Uh, even at five star, it's a benefit to everybody. Getting you know ten percent extra of the rewards is always a, is always a bonus. Um, that's what all that's talking about. Is just how we get the different bonuses. The increase limit is three hundred twenty percent. That's where it caps. So we have the new crossover draw. We looked at these weapons when we looked at the live stream information, and we'll look at those in depth in another video though. Uh, they are right here. We can just kind of briefly look at them. Like I said, we will get more in depth with this. Uh, this will go from now until July 2nd. It does say that premium draw tickets cannot be used, but the Monster Hunter premium tickets can be used. We have the Glavinous Sword, which has a Fierce Charge Slash. 850% non-elemental damage. Physical damage... Uh, on a single enemy reduces their p-def and drastically increases increases his own p attack when his hp is above 50 percent the glavinous armor has a boost p attack and boost physical about ability physical ability mastery so this is not just boost physical ability potency this is physical ability mastery so this is kind of like i think it's tifa's guide uh, outfit we'll look at the numbers later though and we have the Zenogre Blade, has Lightning Edge, deals up to 940% lightning physical damage upon a single enemy. Damage is multiplied by 1.2 when HP is above 70%, which is awesome. That would completely trump over the Masamune, or the Murasame, sorry. I always want to say the Masamune, the Murasame. Uh, but we'll look at that in depth later because there's some, there's some caveats there. And we have the Zenogre Armor, boost physical ability potency, so this is going to be that plus 10 probably to the ability potency. And we finally have another Leaven Blade Arcane, and we finally have another Lightning Arcanum. Uh, again, physical though. 
So, um, like I said, we'll look at all that more in depth. This goes more into the reward increases. And I'm not worried about shop stuff. I skipped over this. Let's come back to it now. The summon co-op is here. You can battle Leviathan and Ramu. Uh, they do have new uh, difficulty levels uh, for Leviathan, going from up to very hard in EX2. Um, I went and completed all those last night, except for the the EX one. Sorry, not EX2, just EX. Uh, EX is the only one I have not completed, um, but all the rest I have. They were not too difficult. If you can do the very hard solo, it's not hard. Uh, Munster Hunter, Munster, Munster, Monster Hunter crossover campaign is now on. We get a free draw, 280 times free. Uh, so make sure you're doing your free draws. We're also getting a five star weapon voucher and a wallpaper. Uh, again, this is going to run from now. This is from now till June 27th. So. The draws will go a little bit past the Monster Hunter campaign. Oh, though the daily free draw stops there. Sorry, I apologize. Um, every Wednesday, I love this, when the uh, five-star rate is doubled. And then Sunday, oh cool, they're going to do a, a, another one. So Sundays, the five-star rate increased by 1.5. Nice. So Wednesdays and Sundays, in theory, we should see more uh, hits on things. We're getting a three thousand dollar, three thousand dollar. Whoo, my my brain is shot. A three thousand blue crystal login bonus. We're getting a thousand crystals every day for three days. All the blues. Um, here's that again as well. Plus a five star weapon voucher uh, in seven days. Five star weapon voucher in so. Oh. That's right, when you log in, the, the seventh day is going to be that. So this is a secondary login bonus. Um, we're getting another 3,000 blue crystals plus a five-star weapon voucher over the span of seven days. There's missions where you complete these missions with different characters. That's going to give you another 3,000 blue crystals right there. There's three pulls just between all that. Uh, for those new players... Um, I thought I said for new players... Oh, there's the, there it is down there. So for everybody, there's a 200% increase in all characters gained experience during this time period from now until June 18th. Uh, and uh, Cloud and Zach specifically are going to go up 400%. I already had them maxed, so this does me no good here, but this, this will help with the other characters. Uh, for our new players who are under level 30... 400% increase in all characters gained experience. So hit those golden bombs, guys. There's also a guaranteed free draw going on. We're going to have volume one, two, and three. Get three or more five-star weapons for free. You're guaranteed at least one five-star for each one. All the goodies. This is awesome. Uh, there's This is I thought was really cool. I already actually got almost all of this done. Um, I actually got it done pretty quickly. Uh, there's a crossover limited area in the Chocobo Expedition, Expeditions added in the Sandy Plains of the Volcano, and there's a really cool thing you can get from here, and I'll show you how it affects uh, the exchange in a little bit. Um, during this period, F Feline will also appear at the Chocobo Farm. You can speak to her receive items, so this is going to be like the, the chest that's also there. You get basically double items. Uh, you can gain Rathalos Mantle. That's the, the awesome thing that you can grab there. Um, I'll show that in a little bit. Ooh, I told you guys, there's a lot of stuff here. We're receiving gifts, this Monster Hunter crossover exclusive draw, uh, premium draw tickets times 10. We're also getting a 5-star weapon guaranteed draw ticket times 1. We got stamina boosters times 20, high wind boosters times 50. And this is just from the live stream. And there's a crossover panel mission. You do those, you get a thousand blue crystals and a wallpaper. Like, it's just all the stuff's being tossed our way. So much stuff to do here. Uh, again, we have a crossover uh, step-up draw. I love what they did here. They went back to the first step being free. That last step-up banner we had, the first step was paid. It was step two, I think, was the free step. And I was just like, that ah, sucks. But you can draw for free at step one. So everybody can at least get the first step in. Um, 
And if you go up to step four, you get another free draw. Step six is another free draw. If you go all the way up to step seven, you get 15 mithril ore, a five star weapon, and 15 mithril ore. Oh, you get the 15 mithril ore at step five, I'm sorry. And then a five star weapon voucher and more 15 ore at seven. There are no weapons featured in that draw, but the new weapons are in there. Step one, the free draw, um, you're just guaranteed a four star higher in the 10th slot. You can get a five star, it's possible, but only a four star is the guaranteed. And there are an issue with the title screen. Apparently there's an unintended title screen that could be displayed if you launch the application without updating first. They're looking into the cause of the issue, which um, unless it's spoiling something, update to version 1.11. All right, that covers all that. So let's let's look into the event real quick. Now, first, let's look into the Chocobo side of it. Um, I've already collected from Feline for the day, so you're not going to be able to see me collect from Feline. But Feline's right here. You got a portal above the head. I'm going to ride around on a Chocobo too, but you get an item from them, uh, just like you do the chest over here. In your expeditions area, you have two new ones. There's the Sandy Plains, and then there's the Volcano. Now, the neat thing about these is you do have the possibility of getting these Rothlos Mantles. I've already gotten three just from the Chocobo uh, adventures here. Uh, those are used for a special item in the uh, in the draws, and I'll show you that, or the exchange, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. Uh, but I will tell you with the exchange, or with the expedition areas, Sandy Plain is grass, Volcano is mountain. You do need mountain Chocobos for the Volcano. I'm just missing just this wind crystal at this point. Now we can go look at the event. And event. Okay. So there are daily missions that you can get. Go ahead and grab these. Uh, there's events you can get. You can purge data five times. Not sure what exactly what that is. Um, I'm assuming it's something within the event itself that I just haven't gotten into yet. Uh, you do have an event story as well as the event battles. You can't do the event battles until you've done the stories. In the exchange, though, we could see that this is where you'll use your uh, Rathalos items. Uh, to get things such as the Shinra Wyvern Blade, which is another spot you can get one. I'll show you that here in a second, too. Mithril Ingots, Ores, uh, Synthesis Catalyst Dawn, 4-star weapon tickets, 3-star weapon tickets. We got Sephiroth weapon parts, Memories, and Zax Memories. We got all the different upgrade parts. We got Mithril pieces down here. So lots of stuff there. Now, the Mantles. These are used for these lottery boxes. Now, what are these lottery boxes? You can obtain one type of item at random. You can do 1,000 blue crystals, 750, 500, or 300. We're going to go ahead and buy three. And they're sold out now. And I don't know if they update daily or how that's going to work. So how do we use them? And we'll get down here to item boxes. Okay. And then hit review. Let's just use one. And we get 300, which is the minimum we can get. And we get 1,000. Hey. And we'll hit one more. Here we go. 300. So we got six, uh, 1,600. So 1,600 blue crystals. Uh, awesome. Nice. Now I did say... And there's our 1600 blue crystals. Let's grab those. Boop. Um, in here, gifts, not your gifts, your missions. There's a monster hunter crossover one specifically. There's like, you know, upgrade, there's login, there's do this. But these like little boards get checked off. And there are three uh, different panels for this. You unlock all the panels, you get a thousand blue crystals. And this. So I still need to perform 10 draws, enhance weapons 10 times, log in for two days, clear uh, co-op battle and event two times, 
to clear the first, then I can get into this one. But you can see a lot of these I've kind of already completed already. Um, so that'll also net you some more blue crystals. So a lot going on there, guys. Um, I'm going to do a video where we look at, you know, should you pull on the banner or not? Uh, all that's coming, so bear with me. I got a lot of stuff I'm trying to get done today to prepare for this musical. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to fit this in where I can. So thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.